Hello, my name is Joe Limbo, and I'm one of the assistant naturalists for Hendricks County Parks and Recreation. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about squirrels. Now, most of you already know what a squirrel is and what they look like, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll learn a little bit more about these guys. Now, to get started, our squirrels are mammals. And because they're mammals, that means they have fur, they're warm-blooded, they have live birth, and they feed milk to their young. Squirrels are also in the rodent family. Now, being inside the rodent family, that means they have two front incisors that will constantly be growing. And to make sure they don't grow too large and hurt them, our rodents have to be chewing a lot. Because by chewing, it prevents those incisors from growing too large. Here in Indiana, we have four different types of squirrels. The first one is the flying squirrel, followed by the eastern fox squirrel, then the eastern gray squirrel, and finally the red squirrel. Here in central Indiana and at our park, the most common squirrel you'll spot is going to be the eastern fox squirrel. The eastern fox squirrel is also the biggest out of all the other squirrels. They're pretty cool looking. And behind me, I have an eastern fox squirrel pelt. This is what they look like. This is a real pelt. And if you were here, I'd let you touch it, but you're gonna have to visually touch it with your eyes. If you follow it down, they have a nice red bushy tail. And this bushy tail is very important for squirrels because this bushy tail is used to help them balance as well as if you're out on a rainy day and you look up, there's a good chance you might spot them using this bushy tail as an umbrella. That's right, they'll hang it over their head to help keep them dry. Now, Eastern fox squirrels and all of our other squirrels are omnivores, which basically means they eat fruits, vegetables, and meat. Most of the time though, when you see a squirrel, they usually have nuts. And the nuts is, of course, their favorite food, and it also helps them with those incisors teeth because nuts are kind of hard. It helps them chew that down to keep those teeth from growing too large. So it does two things for them by eating a nut. It gives them food as well as helps those teeth stay from growing too long. Now here in Indiana, they do have a few predators, and some of those predators you might know, others you might not. But the main predators for our squirrels are coyotes, red foxes, snakes, and of course, birds of prey. You gotta watch out for those because they will swoop down and they will scoop up one of those squirrels and they will chow down. Yeah, they like them squirrels. Here in Indiana and throughout the world, the average lifespan of our squirrels is 11 to 12 months. So it's not a long lifespan, but it's roughly about a year. And as long as they stay out of the roads, usually can reach that goal. But unfortunately, sometimes they just run in those roads and they just don't make it. Now, a really cool fact that I just learned about is if you were to take a UV light and put it on our Eastern Fox Squirrel's bones or teeth, they actually grow pink. That's weird. But what's also weird is if you try that with an Eastern Gray Squirrel, for some reason, when they use the UV light, it doesn't do the same thing. Even though the Eastern Gray Squirrel has the same diet as the Eastern Fox Squirrel. So, kind of strange, but kind of cool. And the more you know. So thank you for joining me for this animal talk. Hope you learned more about squirrels. And keep your eyes out, because you might spot these squirrels in your backyard.